When out in nature, we're often encouraged to look up at the trees, the birds, or other wildlife to take in the full beauty of our natural environment. But after spending enough time in these landscapes, you can't help but look down where the reality of our modern world hits you. Plastic bottles and aluminium cans are left to litter and pollute the places where we are nothing but visitors, as if a stain on this otherwise natural setting. So today I'll be looking down on the hunt for this litter along the river and creek trails, running for as long as it takes to collect enough bottles and cans to fund a drink of my own, ultimately using the bottles to buy a bottle. Quite an unsustainable approach to sustainability. As I run, I don't usually think about the discarded bottles and cans that may litter the trails and paths. Often focused in the moment and feeling detached from the world. But it's not until I stop where the reality of our world shows itself in the form of pollution. Then I wonder what will happen to the plastic, glass or aluminium drink containers if they're not picked up? So instead of relying on someone else to collect it, or for it to end up in the river, I took action into my own hands. I'll run for as long as possible whilst picking up as many bottles as I can. An easy plan, both rewarding to yourself and the environment. But with the recent introduction of the Container Deposit Scheme here in Victoria, you can now receive a 10 cent refund for returning bottles. So now I want to see if I can collect enough bottles to receive enough money in return to fund a drink myself. A flawless plan, using the bottles to buy a bottle, exchanging like for like. It's like using the money of strangers through their discarded waste to buy my own reward. Regardless of these bottles being left unintentionally or purposely, by careless people, it should be everyone's responsibility to clean up and dispose of our manufactured waste correctly. Although I didn't initially own these bottles, once picking them up, it then becomes your property, and in turn, your responsibility to appropriately discard of it, as it's in our best interest to clean up our environment. If not, these bottles and cans would otherwise be left to decompose in our parks or float away in our waterways and be left to other generations to deal with. Evident today with some bottles looking as though they have washed up on the bank of the river following recent flooding, highlighting how bottles littered in the past can eventually resurface to pollute the land. After what seemed like a flurry of bottles to begin with, the longer I ran, the less I saw, running for kilometres without one in sight. I started wishing for more bottles to pick up so I could buy a drink, but at the same time not wanting more for the sake of the environment, which I think the latter is better in the long term. After 18 kilometres, 23 bottles collected and a fatigued body, I reached the machine where I could redeem the waste. The 23 bottles would make us $2.30, which I would expect to be enough to purchase a drink. But unfortunately, only 14 were accepted as the others were too damaged or were missing a label. These were responsibly disposed of in a nearby recycling bin. Therefore bringing our total to $1.40 and unsure if this would be enough. An additional 2 km run to the nearest shops brought our total distance to 20 km, where to no one's surprise there were no drinks costing $1.40 or less. So I resorted to purchasing the cheapest drink available, this Gatorade. At $2, I used the $1.40 from collecting the bottles, leaving me $0.60 cents out of pocket. So in summary, for 20 kilometres of running, 23 bottles were collected, 14 of which were accepted, returning a total of $1.40. Not enough to purchase a drink outright, but it was used to buy a $2 Gatorade, leaving $0.60 cents of my own money to be used. Today's run means that there's now 23 less bottles and cans polluting our environment. But this act of sustainability is itself unsustainable, as running 20 kilometers to collect enough bottles to partially fund a drink is by no means a worthwhile initiative in the long term. But as a one-off, it's 
a great way to help clean our environment to promote a better future for us all.